Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2021 American action and thriller movie called Red Notice. Make sure to watch it till the end because there will be a huge twist. The movie begins with a tale about Cleopatra and Mark Antony. On their wedding day, he presented her with three bejeweled eggs as a symbol of his undying devotion. Since then, the eggs were believed to be mere myths for centuries. But in 1907, a local farmer in Cairo unearthed two of them. However, the third egg was never found. In the present day, Special Agent John Hartley, a criminal profiler for the FBI, and an Interpol agent, Das, arrive at a museum in Rome after being given information by his reliable source called the Bishop that one of the eggs stored in the museum is going to be stolen. Upon arrival, at the display room, the egg is still in the position and intact. Hartley scans the 18 karat gold egg with a thermal sensor and discovers that it is not reflecting the heat in the room, meaning that it is a fake egg. To prove his theory, he grabs a coke from a visitor and pours it into the egg. As Daz orders the guard to seal the room immediately, international art thief Nolan Booth reveals himself and manages to escape from the room. The guards go after him, but he is able to eliminate all of them by disintegrating the scaffolding, causing it to collapse while he manages to reach the upper floor of the room. However, Harley comes in and corners Booth. They engage in a fight, causing both of them to fall out of a window. Booth manages to slide down through a pipe and run away with a stolen motorcycle. Harley attempts to chase him with a super cool sports car, but he is a bad driver and immediately gets deboned by a gelato truck. 56 hours after the heist, Booth arrives at his hideout in Bali with the egg in his possession. However, Hartley has been waiting for him and brings out Interpol agents to arrest him and secure the egg. Hartley reveals that the bishop sells Booth out and leaks the hideout's location to the FBI agent. As Hartley puts the egg in the truck, the bishop, who disguises herself as one of the team members, switches out the real egg for a fake one. The next day, Hartley, who plans to leave Rome in an hour, is confronted by Daz. She shows him the fake egg and drops it to the floor, accusing Hartley for swapping the egg. She also notes that a Swiss bank account in Hartley's name has just received an 8 million wire transfer. Despite Hartley begging and keeps saying that he is innocent, he is arrested and is sent to a Russian prison. Things get worse when Hartley finds out that Booth is his cellmate. While eating, both of them think that Hartley was set up by the bishop. Hartley states that she has successfully taken out her lead competitor, Booth, and lead investigator, himself, in one move or two birds, one egg. The renowned art thief reveals the bishop's plan to gather all Cleopatra's egg and sell them to an Egyptian billionaire for $300 million by the night of his daughter's wedding. They also know that the second egg is currently owned by an international arms dealer, Soto Foce, and is locked away in a secret vault inside his house. The only way to steal it is by sneaking into the vault during one of his annual parties. A few moments later, Booth deliberately yells out to the whole cafeteria that Hartley is not a cop and reveals that he is an FBI agent. As we know, because the prisoners hate cops and they are not that dumb, one of them, Drago Grande, approaches them and challenges Hartley. Although he tells him that he doesn't want trouble, Drago launches a punch, causing the guards to react and bring them back to the cell. Not long after, Hartley and Booth are brought to the bishop, who claims herself as the captain of the prison. She reveals that she is the one who swapped the egg and sent the money to an account registered in Hartley's name. She informs them that she is going to steal the second egg in less than 48 hours and tells Hartley that Booth knows the location of the final egg. She offers to give him 10% of the money and will let him out if he reveals the egg's location, but he refuses to tell anything. They decide to team up and start planning their escape plan. Before sleeping, we discover that Booth is the son of a Swiss police captain and he states that his father was a jerk who accused him of stealing his watch, even though he didn't. His dad refused to talk to him for a year until he discovered that it was hidden behind some paperwork. The next day, they execute their escape plan. First, Booth throws nitroglycerin into a machine, causing it to explode. In the ensuing chaos, they manage to escape from the building by using a key card that Booth stole from the security guard when Drago attacked Hartley. Booth eventually makes it into the helicopter while Hartley is distracting the guards. Hartley attempts to run towards the chopper, but a guard fires a missile at him, causing the bridge to collapse. Luckily, just before Booth starts flying away, he manages to climb up and jump into the helicopter. However, the guard attempts to fire a missile again, but Hartley manages to open the other door, 
causing it to fly through the chopper and hit a mountain instead. In London, the bishop is keeping an agent captive in his office while using his computer to send a message to Daz, informing her that Hartley and Booth has escaped from the prison. She also sends an invitation to Soto Foce's party. In the other side, Booth calls his friend, Tambwe, to pick him and Hartley up and take them on a plane to Soto Foce's house. While Hartley is studying about the house master plan, Booth shares his plan to get into Foce's safe, which is located upstairs and heavily guarded by using a hidden entrance. In addition, the whole activities in the house are monitored by CCTVs which are already using the latest technology. He also adds that the only way to get through the fault door is with facial and voice recognition, which Booth is prepared for with his own face and voice replacement technology. Last but not least, they also need to enter a 12-digit passcode which can only be found in Soto Foce's phone and needs a fingerprint authentication. Long story short, they arrive at the party, which is a masquerade party. Hartley meets Bishop and asks her for a dance, which is not part of the plan. Soto Foce spots Hartley dancing with the most beautiful girl at the party, which makes him jealous. He politely asks her to dance with him. On the other side, Booth collects his fingerprints and Hartley manages to steal the phone. Both of them then proceed to the fault room. Booth hacks the CCTV and they manage to reach the vault. They accidentally break the glass that contains Foce's fingerprint, but luckily they still can find the fingerprint and proceed to unlock the door. Just before they get in, Das comes in, pointing her gun at them. She orders Hartley to arrest Booth to prove his innocence. He refuses to do so and gets into the vault with Booth. Unfortunately, Bishop has somehow already made her way inside and fights them for the egg. After a long fight, she manages to outskill both of them while Soto Foce and his men come into the vault. Bishop surprisingly has planned this with him, informing him that Hartley and Booth would come for the egg. They are then knocked out by Foce's men. Bishop forces Booth to tell them the location of the third egg or Hartley will be shocked with electric cables. He still refuses to talk even after Bishop has increased the voltage to maximum. Running out of patience, Voce strangles Hartley, and he finally leaks the location of the last egg, which is in a pyramid in Cairo. Just before the pair leave, Bishop poisons Soto Voce's drink, causing him to collapse. As the woman leaves, Voce awakens but has his vision impaired and he starts firing wildly at Hartley and Booth. Thanks to Voce, the bullet hits the cuff and Hartley manages to free himself and run away with Booth. They manage to escape from the underground only to find themselves in the middle of bullfighting. Long story short, the man make it onto a train where Booth admits that he lied about the last egg's location. However, he is unwilling to tell Hartley either. Hartley nearly throws him off the train until he relents and pulls him back in. Turns out that Hartley's father was a con man and he is a cop, while Booth's dad was a cop and he is now a thief. Because of that similarity, they decide to help each other. Booth then reveals that the third egg was hidden by Rudolf Zeich. Hitler's personal antiquities dealer, and was sent to Argentina along with all stolen Nazi artifacts. He eventually found out that the watch that his father loved so much was actually containing the coordinates to the bunker where the egg was kept. They arrive at the exact location of the bunker, which is in the middle of the forest. However, Booth realizes that all this time he reads the map upside down, which makes Hartley furious. When he smashes the compass, they realize that they are currently standing above it and starts digging where they find a passageway and a huge vault containing loads of stolen artifacts. After exploring the vault, they finally find the final egg, but suddenly Bishop arrives along with Daz and her team, who have been following Bishop. They attempt to escape by using an old Mercedes car while being chased by the Interpol agents. The thieves manage to eliminate the Interpol agent's car, leaving Daz alone. The three then ride their car out of the cave and freefall over a waterfall. Booth secures the egg and escapes from the water, but is unable to find Hartley. He drops the egg and attempts to go back into the water to save him, but he turns out to be fine. Hartley discovers that Booth actually cares for him. Not long after, Bishop survives the accident and when it looks like Hartley is about to arrest her, they kiss instead. It turns out that Hartley has been working with Bishop the whole time. They are a couple who have been planning the egg heists from the beginning and use Booth to lead them to the third egg. She also reveals that the electrocution scene was intended to pass the cuff's key. Booth is forced to hand the egg over, and they leave him cuffed to a tree. The couple travel to Cairo where the billionaire is conducting his daughter's wedding. He presents three Cleopatra's eggs to the bride as the wedding gift. 
Out of nowhere, Ed Sheeran also presents at the party and gives a special musical performance. Suddenly, Das and Interpol agents come in and arrest the billionaire. Ed is also arrested because he attempts to fight the guards. The Interpol agents secure the egg while Harley and Bishop gets away unnoticed with $300 million in their bank account. At the end of the movie, the couple are on a boating holiday when they are approached by Booth. He was being caught by Das but managed to escape. He informs them that he tipped off Das about their bank account where the $300 million was transferred and she froze all the money. He then offers them to work together on another heist or he will leave them to be arrested because the Interpol agents are on their way towards the yacht. The couple reluctantly agree and they flee. Das returns to the office and issues a red notice on all three thieves. On the other side, they arrive in Paris and are ready to execute their next heist, the Louvre. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.